you think of a brand, chances are your favorite clothing, beverage, or technology comes to mind. But a cowboy might think of something like this. Thanks to the hot branding iron, there was no better way for a rancher to leave his mark. They come in every shape, size, and configuration, each one as unique as its owner. But the process of fire branding cattle dates back further than you may think, way further. It's estimated that ancient Egyptians used brands to claim cattle as early as 4000 BC. In the ancient Roman Empire, cattle were branded for a slightly different reason. Some of the Romans believed certain branding symbols were magical spells to protect the herd. The practice of branding cattle came to America from European travelers and was fine-tuned by the vaquero, or cattlemen from Spanish Mexico. Branding livestock served many useful purposes to ranchers. The main reason was to signify the rancher's ownership of their animals. This allowed livestock to graze together on open ranges, and when it came time to round them all up, it helped cowboys determine who owned what. Unique brands came in handy for keeping track of lost animals, but it also prevented them from being stolen by rustlers or livestock thieves. To avoid the possibility of duplicating brands, ranch owners came up with variations of characters to make sure their name stood out. Brands could be walking, running, double, tumbling, lazy, or crazy. You can see many examples of unique brands and irons here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check our website at nationalcowboymuseum.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching, folks.